So you're going to take one of these Roku sticks or Roku TV box. I'll put links in the description. They're basically the same. Some of them are capable of 4K. Some of them are not capable. This is actually 4K. And all we have to do is, well, to connect this HDMI, this monitor has a display port and an HDMI port. Maybe your monitor has two HDMI ports. It does not matter where you're going to connect it as long as you remember the number uh, associated with your HDMI. So I'll connect it here. And now this needs power because it does not work simply by plugging it. And in the box, it usually comes with one of these very tiny USB cable that is a bit short. I mean, you can use it if your, uh, your monitor sits right beside a wall outlet. So you connect one end in the unit itself and the other end in a USB charger. But you can use any other cables. You're not obligated to stick with the Roku cable. What we can do if your cable is too short is to use a extension. So this is USB type A and over here I simply plug it over here like that and now this cable is much longer and I'll be able to plug it into a wall charger. Just like that. So let me connect it. Okay I have connected it and now the Roku stick is powering on. You may ask yourself, how do I get audio at this point? Some computer monitors have speakers like this one, but these speakers are very weak. So if you're trying to watch a movie and you're sitting across the room, you won't hear anything. Fortunately, many computer monitors have one of these 3.5 millimeter jack that is right over here. You see, this is for audio. You will need a 3.5 millimeter connector, audio cable to 3.5 millimeter, connect one end over here. And this other end can go in many different audio devices. You can plug it in a Bluetooth speakers that have an auxiliary jack connection. You can plug it in a sound bar that has an auxiliary jack connection if you want to upgrade your sound. There's many different options. I'll put links in the description towards speakers with an auxiliary jack, since not all of them will have this feature. Additionally, you can disconnect this and simply connect a wired headphone over here to get your audio. And at the end, it looks just like this. You can now start using with your Roku remote control, the same way you're using your TV. So you're gonna have access to all the apps and it will be much more enjoyable. Also, if you want to use this computer monitor for well, your computer and for a Roku stick, you can do this. Simply connect your computer in the other HDMI or other port, like a display port of this monitor, and you'll be able to switch with the buttons on the back of your monitor between the different sources, so your Roku stick and your computer. If you do not see anything at this point on your screen, you can also go ahead and, again, depends on which model you have, Go in the menu of the monitor and switch the source to the one where you have connected your Roku stick. Sometimes it's HDMI 1, HDMI 2, or uh, I mean, it should not be DisplayPort, but yeah, your computer monitor may have many different ports. So this is why you need to switch between them manually if uh, your monitor did not detect it, your Roku stick. But overall, this is it. I hope this was useful. If so, please leave a like, comment down below, subscribe again, check my Amazon links to get whatever I showed in this video, and I will see you in the next video.